In this video, we will discuss Wi-Fi. Chances are pretty good that you're familiar with the term Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is the name of a wireless networking technology that uses radio waves to provide high-speed network and internet connections to laptops, smartphones, tablets, Amazon's Echo, and other similar devices. Wi-Fi is a trademarked term held by the Wi-Fi Alliance, which is a nonprofit organization that promotes Wi-Fi technology and certifies Wi-Fi products. Wi-Fi actually belongs to a set of specifications called IEEE 802.11, and these standards are created and maintained by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers LAN and MAN Standards Committee, which is known as IEEE 802. The most common Wi-Fi radio frequencies are in the 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz spectrum and the 4.915 and 5.825 gigahertz spectrum, which are commonly referred to as a 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands, respectively. While the transmission range of a Wi-Fi network is a function of its frequency, transmission power, antenna type, the location that it's being used in, and the environment, a typical wireless router in an indoor point-to-multipoint arrangement using 802.11n and a stock antenna might have a range of about 160 feet. Now, let's do a demonstration using Wi-Fi. To demonstrate Wi-Fi connectivity, we're going to look at this Arduino MKR1000 board. This device has been designed to offer a practical and cost-effective solution for makers seeking to add Wi-Fi connectivity to their projects with minimal previous experience in networking. And because this design combines the functionality of Arduino Zero and the Wi-Fi Shield, it's perfect for IoT projects. This board is based on the Atmel ATSAMW25 SOC that is part of the Smart Connect family of Atmel wireless devices, which are specifically designed for IoT projects. And it's this SOC that has the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connectivity. So this is the Atmel ATSAMW25 SOC, and I have three LEDs connected to the board. Uh, these are connected to the digital I.O. pin 0, pin 1, and pin 2. And then I have a resistor connected to the uh, pin 6, digital I.O. pin 6. And then uh, this is power. So I'll go into a little bit more detail during the demo, but I just want to go over the setup. Um, it has a USB port. And I'm going to connect this here. And I will energize the board. And then we can download the code. Okay, to get the sketch, I'm going to go to GitHub. Here's the address here, Arduino-MKR1000. And download. Save. And extract. And uh, I'm going to be using version 1 here. So I will copy this path, open up Arduino, and paste that path that I copied. So here's the sketch, and I need to make sure I'm using the right board. So this is what we're using, the Arduino MKR1000. And then uh, the COM port is set up correctly. And then I do need to make a change down here to the SSID. And right now we're using Wi-Fi 1 as the SSID. And our password is password. So you will have to obviously make changes to these two lines of code depending on your own uh, router setup. So we will now upload. And we will wait until it says done. And then we'll open up the serial monitor to get the IP address. OK, it says done uploading. Let's open this and give it a couple seconds, and it should provide the IP address. All right, there we go. So at this point, we're going to need to download the app on the phone. I will say I have already downloaded the app. It's the MKR1000 kit there. But um, I'll just walk you through the process on how to get that. So I'll go to the App Store, Search. And MKR1000, right there. And then this is what we want there. So I will go ahead and open the app. 
and it's actually has already connected um, but for the steps you need you'll have to go in and type in the IP address this is the same IP address that we got from the serial monitor on the Arduino IDE so click done and you would click connect but as we can see down here it's already connected and at this point we can see um, all the features this, that this app offers so these uh, are digital I.O. switches down below these are analog I.O.s uh, LCD and then um, a serial or a terminal so what I can do here is I'm going to type in digikey and done and then submit and if we look on the monitor we can see digikey being displayed so here is kind of a schematic of the Arduino board with the connections I have five volts here and that corresponds to the red wire on the breadboard I have ground uh, the three LEDs connected to digital I.O. 0, pin 1, and pin 2, and then the 10K ohm resistor connected to digital I.O. pin 6. So let's go back up here, and as I mentioned before, the LEDs are connected to, um, according to this app here, switch 0, switch 1, and switch 2. So I can turn on one LED, and we can see over here the LED is being turned on and we can turn on the second LED, the third LED, we can turn them all on or off like that and we click over here we can do, a mo so right now they're set as a toggle button but we can set up it as a momentary button so now we press it down and the LEDs turn on and then if we turn them all off again we can see the one LED being turned on there or we can do a schedule button so you turn this on and then you can determine and or set the amount of time you want it on so we'll go five seconds and then the LED should be on for five seconds and then it turns off so let's take a look at um, switch six so I have a resistor connected to that one and I'm going to change the mode from uh, an output to an input. Okay, at this point, I'm going to use this jumper wire to go between the 10K resistor um, and ground. So this is ground, and then this is VCC. So I'll start out at ground, and we can see on the phone, on the app, it's low, and then we'll connect it to VCC, and we can see that it goes high. So as you can see, adding Wi-Fi connectivity to a project can be made a little bit easier when using this Arduino board. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.